Today we're going to learn about how to use a number line to solve subtraction word problems or any subtraction problem. So you can see here this is our number line. This one goes from 0 to 20. Sometimes you'll see a number line that only goes to 10, but it will do the same thing for you. I'm just doing to 20 so you can get used to seeing the larger number line, even though we're going to be mostly doing problems only to 10 with our subtraction. First thing we have to do is just look at our word problem here and see if we can underline the important words. So it says, there were six cookies on a plate. I ate three of the cookies. How many cookies are left? So there were six cookies on the plate. That's an important number for us to remember. Then I ate three cookies. How many cookies are left? So left is going to be a clue that we're doing a subtraction problem here. So we're going to solve this problem in a similar way as we will with an addition problem on a, on a number line. So first let's start by filling in our equation. So we know we started off with six cookies up here. So I'm going to write a six cookies. Then we, I ate three of the cookies. So Minus is the same as take away. So if I eat them, they're getting taken away from the plate. So minus three cookies that I ate. One, three. And then how many cookies are left? So this is what we're going to use the number line to figure out. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to circle the first number. So the first number here is six. So I'm going to circle it on the number line. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to hop the number of times that I'm that I am subtracting. So I'm taking away three cookies. I want to hop three times. In addition problems we hop four words because we're at taking two smaller numbers and joining them together to get a larger number. In subtraction, the bigger number always comes first, so we need to hop backwards to get to the smaller part that we're left with. So our number should always be smaller than the number we're starting off with. So I need to hop three times backwards. So one, two, three, and the number I end up with is the number that it equals. So six minus three equals three. You could double check by saying, okay, three plus three more equals six. Let's try another problem together. Okay, this problem says there were five kids playing, two kids left. How many kids are still playing? So if there were five kids playing, I'm going to underline five. I'm going to underline two because those are our important ones. And then the ones that are still playing, it's what same as left. So I'm going to start by writing my equation. I know the bigger number always comes first. The bigger number was five. There were five kids playing. I'm going to write my 5. There were two, then two of the kids left, so we're taking away two kids, minus 2. Now, I'm going to solve this on the number line in the same way, so I'm going to circle that first number, which would be the number 5. Good. So I'm circling 5. Now, how many hops do I need to do? 2. Good. So I want to hop 2 times. Do I want to hop this way? No, because then I'm going to end up with a number that is larger, bigger number. I don't want a bigger number. My bigger number always comes first, so I need to make sure I'm hopping backwards. I'm taking away two. One, two hops backwards to land on the number three. So five minus two equals three. Awesome job. Let's try one more together. So I saw eight birds outside. Four birds flew away. How many birds are left? So eight birds outside. Four birds flew away. How many are left? That's our important words and numbers. So I know I'm going to need to do an equation to match this. So I'm going to say the bigger number always comes first. The bigger number is eight. So eight, I'm going to take away minus four because four flew away. How many birds are left? So I need to solve this using the number line. I'm going to circle the number 8 because that's the number I'm starting with. How many hops do I need to do? 
four, good. Am I hopping this way or this way? You point. Good, this way because I'm subtracting, I'm taking away. So I should be getting smaller, going towards the smaller numbers. So I'm gonna hop four times towards the smaller numbers. One, two, three, four. And I end up on this number four. Good, so eight minus four equals four. So there are four birds left after four of them flew away. Great work, and I can't wait to see you working on these number lines with the subtraction word problems this week.